Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep, contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is Director of Communications for the Audio Engineering Society, Frank Wills. Frank, how you doing? I'm great. How about you, Dan? Fantastic. Thank you. Um, okay, you know the dance, 30 seconds on the clock, and then on to the next question. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, question number one. Describe your job to a five-year-old. I tell people about things other people do. <laughs> That's all a five-year-old wants to know. They don't have that much attention span. Come on, I live with these guys. There's no toys anymore? There's no nothing involved that, that's fun? Grandpa, you're boring. <laughs> They've already moved on to the next question. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, fine. Then I guess we have to too, but we're still ticking down the clock here. Dutefully waiting for 30 seconds so, so that PR, I can go. Marketing. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> you like how that worked? See that? Okay. Uh, next question. What's the worst mistake you've ever made in a professional setting? Whoa. Just one. <laughs> uh, so making safeties of a 24 track for a famous producer one time, I managed to cut off the pre-roll on the song and there was a little pad that the producer serving as keyboard player had put on the front end that they were saying, you know, that's kind of fun. We might keep that. And they had no option. At least I missed the downbeat. Oops. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next question. Uh, the Frank Wells action figure is going on the market for post Christmas. What two must have accessories are bundled with it? Ooh, a pocket knife and a flashlight, which was always critical. When I uh, worked as a studio tech for decades or long periods of time, anyway, um, it was always essential that you had a uh, that you had a pocket knife in your pocket. I usually had two and a flashlight for digging in behind cabinets, and there was usually a couple screwdrivers in there too. And, and and of course, it wasn't just a flashlight; it was a mag light, right? It was a mag light, absolutely, with the holster. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Next question. What's the strangest thing you've ever done for money? Ooh. Strangest thing I've ever done for money. Well, I could say PR, but uh, that would be both of them. <laughs> that is pretty strange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gosh, I, it's been all fairly mundane. I'm, radio engineer, that kind of thing, it it would probably have to be modifying some bizarre piece of equipment for somebody, um, you know, putting speak-ons on the back of a guitar player, studio guitar player's cabinets, because he'd say. Ooh. <laughs> Next question. What would 15-year-old you be most and least impressed with about present-day you? Whoa. Uh, I'd be impressed that I was gainfully employed. I would be uh, unimpressed that it wasn't being a uh, major guitar player and uh, and performing artist. You mean you're not a rock star? No, no, not a rock star. Only in my own little world. Ah, oh, bummer, bummer. Okay, well, I guess that's good. Even though you didn't, you didn't even rack up 15 seconds on that. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Next, to be okay. if you could have one useless pointless or semi-useless and pointless superpower what would it be Ooh. semi useless and pointless superpower i'd no longer need spell check i would be able to, I, I read an article the other day about somebody who had a he can only assume it's a brain abnormality and once he's heard a word in any language um and heard it used in context he can spell it so you yeah. would be spell check man. I would be spell check man. You have a, a little, a, a little error correction on your uniform or something. Exactly. I love it. I love it. Okay, um, that concludes our questions. I'm going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to use it to shamelessly plug something you're doing, or ask me a question, or pontificate in life in general. Whatever works for you. 30 seconds. Go. Okay, well, let's talk about the Audio Engineering Society then just for a minute since we're doing that. If you are a professional and you're working in this industry, you ought to be part of it. Why? 
uh, Audio Engineering Society is a worldwide group of audio pros that is uh, actively involved in the industry, actively involved in setting standards for the industry, making sure all that gear that works when you plug it in from one piece to another, that it works, it works right. Uh, you owe a lot of thanks to that, to the Audio Engineering Society, best practices, guidelines, breaking technologies, all of those kind of things. And with us today is Daniel Keller, who is the uh, latest full member of the Audio Engineering Society, recently upgraded from associate member. And Daniel, why are you a member of the Audio <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was just too good, Frank. I mean, not only did you do that in, all, in, in about 35 seconds, but you did it without any punctuation and, and presumably without even taking a breath. <laughs> so, so now I'll do my grade school thing and say, could you repeat the question? <laughs> why, why do I belong to the AES? Why do you belong to the AES and why did you want to upgrade? Um, well, I could simplify things and say because I'm a dork and I've always been a dork. Um, but yes, I have always been into the technical side of the industry uh, ever since the first time I, as a young uh, wannabe rock star, walked into a recording studio and went, ooh, twinkly, you know, and, and wanted to know what all those knobs and buttons and slidey things and stuff like that did. Um, I decided that that was what I wanted to do with my life, and um, it's pretty much held true. I, I love the technical aspect of the creative process almost as much as I love the creative process itself. And I love being able to work with artists and help them realize their artistic creations. And the only way to allow that kind of stuff to happen is to also understand all the left brain stuff and all the technical stuff behind it. So here we are. Yep, best place to best place to keep on top of everything and such is right where we are today. Absolutely, absolutely. Frank Wills, thank you for being off. my guest. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being my guest on Thirty Second Chances. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.